then we say now the game is not that simple. The last word I told you last lecture is what we have learned all wrong. Okay, looks like useless. That is because now we are going to the so-called velocity saturation regime, right? Uh, we know that the velocity of the electron is proportional to the electric field. If I keep increasing the electric field, the velocity will increase. But in reality, it don't, it doesn't. Look at this velocity plot against the electric field. Well, when I keep increasing the electric field, yeah, velocity keep increasing, increasing, but eventually it's saturated to something called saturation velocity. That is because when the carrier gain more energy, it somehow has more mechanism to lose energy. So as a result, uh, it cannot keep going forward, right? It's not because of general relativity or something, right? It's just that because so-called velocity saturation. And we say that there is a critical electric field that is saturate. Again, this is an approximation. And at this critical electric field, it gives us the saturation velocity. Right? So we can calculate if we know the mobility, the mobility times this critical electric field, right? Just to be clear, this is the, I hope that I can write it. C, right? This is the one in the figure, right? Uh, the Z, C, right here, E so to E critical, okay? So then we do, we did some calculation for a gate length of 100 nanometer. Even with one volt of string bias, it goes into saturation already, right? So this is something we have been dealing with, okay? So then how is it going to change our, uh, uh, the, the relationship, right? Bet uh, between the device and also the, um, oh, sorry, I think I mixed some, Stick here. Yeah. So how is it going to change the IDVD relationship? If you remember, I told you last time when you go into the saturation regime, do you remember how the this curve looked like in the old time big device? Remember the current is proportional to VGS minus VTH square, correct? This one here. So if it is proportional to that, then I expect that was a quadratic spacing, right? When I keep increasing the threshold voltage, uh, the, the VG, then you will see that like this, right? You will, okay, have this, and then you increase, and then increase even more, and then increase even more, even more, right? This is what I call quadratic spacing, right? But now in the this submicron error, it becomes linear. Let me just call it um, velocity saturation. It becomes linear spacing. Okay, and also, and so, okay, I didn't know this is, so let me just erase it. So linear relationship, okay, linear spacing. Now, also we get some earlier saturation, okay? In the past, the saturation will be low, will, will be later at, at larger VDS, but now even a smaller VDS, it means that at, smaller VDS, okay? And this is what I want to try to show you is this, okay? So we have two curves. One is long channel, one is short channel, right? The first thing you do, you see that the quadratic spacing I'm talking about, and here is linear spacing on the right. So, we have two regions, right? This is the linear region, correct? This is also the linear region. But we have two saturation regions. This saturation 
is due to pinch off. While this saturation is due to velocity saturation. Is this okay? We just bring in a new mechanism. We say the carrier cannot go as far as, as, as high speed as we want. Then as a result, we have this uh, velocity saturation. And then the curve will, Sir? yes. Like in the, in the short channel, will the pinch off still exist? We are going to talk about that. Then it depends on the saturation voltage for pinch off and velocity saturation. It depends on which one comes first. But in short channel, when it gets shorter, this one comes first. That's why uh, we usually don't see pinch off. However, if you make the gate voltage very small, you still will see this pinch off. So there is a condition we are going to discuss. So it will, there will be a pinch off also. Is there a possibility that pinch off happens before velocity saturation? Yes. In short channel? Depends on the VG. For very small VG, pinch off will happen first. Okay, thanks professor. Yeah, so that is a good point, right? So they, they are not excluding each other uh, in a technology. Right? But the big picture is that for long channel, usually it, due to, it is due to pinch off. For short channel, it is due to velocity saturation. But I'm going to show you the equation, and that is what you need to learn in the class. Okay. Uh, Professor, I had a quick question about like, the long channel, short channel. Yeah. Uh, is this like short channel with respect to length or width? Because, like, the length. Uh, the length, okay. So this is the device, right? You will try to do a 3D wheel. It will be something like this. Source, string, and this is L, okay? And this is width. So this is large LG. This is small LG, okay? But wouldn't a larger length coincide to a lower current? Okay, no, 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 okay. Because we don't know the width. No, don't compare the absolute value of the current. Very good, in, okay, you are okay. very uh, very uh, meticulous, very uh, careful, right? The, because they, they, they are not of the same width. Okay, good point. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that. Yeah, very I'm good, yeah, case. very good observation, right? So he saw this one is higher, this is smaller, but they might not even from the same type of transistor. But very good point, okay? So different width. Any questions? Now you also see one what, what interesting thing happened here. If you have learned about channel length modulation, you also did see this has more channel length modulation, right, CLM, which refer to the fact that the current keep increasing when you increase VDS. And that is because of ch short channel, the lambda will be larger. Okay, let's have this uh, feeling first, right? And then we try to see uh, more about uh, what's going on. So here, try to, so now, uh, uh, this is also just a, a cartoon to compare, but you do see that a few things happens, right? For shorter channel, we have something called VD set. VD set is VDS, after which there is velocity saturation, okay? So for long channel, it's VDS is large, right? So it will hit VGS minus VTH, okay? Long channel VD set 
is larger than VGS minus VT. So it goes, so pinch off first. Okay, but for short channel, VD set smaller than VGS minus VT. So velocity saturation first. Right, I, I assume you understand why I single out VGS minus VTH, right? That is in our old model, right? In our uh, undergraduate model, we know that VGS minus VT is what you use to determine the linear and saturation mode, right? And this is referring to the pinch off, right? So we have two quantity to compare to. One is the so-called VD set that cause, right? Um, velocity saturation. Another is VGS minus VT that cause the pinch off. So it really depends on which one go first. And this is a very complicated device we said. You can look at the textbook, but even the textbook does not have a very deep explanation. And we don't need to do that as a circuit designer. Right? We just need to understand there are two quantity and exactly the two the questions some of you just asked, when it will come first and, and, and how should I deal with this? Okay. Is that okay? Any questions? Now the rule of thumb is this. It is find that, right? You can look at the textbook, but I don't think we need to understand the derivation. If V G minus V T increase or L reduce, then what will happen? V D set will reduce. That is the rule. And it's not easy to memorize because for L is easy, right? Smaller L means short channel. And then we did set reduce. We did set is just a criteria when you will go into velocity saturation, right? VGS minus VT, you make it more heavily drive, then it also reduced. And then how do I memorize it? I memorize it this way. I make it more heavily just, it means less pinch off, right? Pinch off is saying that I cannot induce the uh, charge under the gate. Now, if I have more heavily overdrive, then of course I actually have more carrier. So it's more difficult to deplete the electrons, right? So it kind of related to the direction. Of course, you find a way to memorize or just put in cheat sheet, right? But the point is that VD set does go down and it depends on L and VG minus VTH. Is this okay? Now, so just like what you, you guys just asked, right? Now, then what happened? You will plot in IDVG. Right, this is IDVG. Just now what we saw was IDVD. So we assume, for example, the VD equal to 2.5 volt and then we ram the VG. So this is long channel. And you see that when you turn on, then you will go up quadratically, right? Like what we said before. But now it will go up linearly in the short channel. If you don't understand what I'm talking about then, Let's look at the IDVD curve we plot earlier. This was the long channel. And I'm talking about the same VD, right? So for example, this is VD that you 2.5 volt. Then what I'm plotting across is this nine, right? VG increase, right? So this point may be this point, this point may be this point, this point may be this point. And that's why you go up quadratically, right? For the 
linear for the short channel, right? I just told you that it is more linear, equal spacing, right? So if you look at this for the same VG, uh, for the VG increasing and they're all at 2.5 volt VD, right? They go up linearly, okay? So there's no problem with this. But interesting thing, which interesting thing is still in this regime, is still quadratic. Why? Because Vg s minus Vt is small. And if you follow what I mentioned earlier, we set actually will increase. But at the same time, we did uh we this vgs minus vt is small so i also have vgs minus vt smaller than vd set right so the pinch off is earlier than than velocity saturation And so even in short channel, we have quadratic region, which is the uh, pinch of region. Okay, uh, I think these are not difficult, but can be very, very confusing. Any questions? Remember we have VD set and VG minus VT. Is all the comparison between VGS minus VT and VD set can change with the channel length. Shorter channel length, smaller VD set. And which one is smaller? Professor, I just had, then you will oh. start. Yeah, please. Uh, sorry, I just had a quick uh, qu uh, clarifying question. So basically between like the short channel and the long channel, we're trying to identify whether we're seeing pinch off happening first or if we're seeing uh, velocity saturation happening first, right? Mm hmm Okay, thank you. Correct. Uh, or on the other hand, right, we, we, we care about for short uh, for long channel is mostly in the quadratic region, right? In the uh pinch off region. But for we lost if you keep go keep increasing VGS minus VT, right? If we don't consider other effects, eventually it will be linear due to velocity uh saturation but for short channel this one occurs earlier so as a circuit designer you only see this 2.5 volt you don't care what is outside right but for short channel you already see the linear so as a result you have what's the uh it has smaller current right this time they have the uh current then expected right in quadratic right if you had quadratic you increase the vg then your current increase uh, quadratically but now even you increase the vg vg the current only increased linearly okay now then what my class is 